What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. LA Mamba. It is December 29, 2022. And on uh, letting you guys know, this is my second video of the day. And I wanted to talk about. Starting from zero before having a tire shop and how you could possibly acquire one, how could you possibly get to the position of acquiring one. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, my opinion of how to do it. Uh, one way, I mean, there's many ways to do it, but one way of doing it and um, uh, the last video was about already about you know very established like you know 20 years in the business uh type of video but this is more like uh before uh the first year of a uh, tire shop before your first year um so here we go right so um if i was in the position of you know Barely starting off when it comes to, uh, you know, having any money, right? Like you don't have much money, close to zero, let's just say, right? Or you have a little bit of money. And let's say you want to get into the tire shop business, so you want to open up your own tire shop. Uh, first of all, it's going to take years to um, get to that position to be ready. Um, and um, if you're in this position, if you're like at ground zero, like, which I know a lot of people are... Uh, um, you know, you know, wanna wanna get into the business. You know, wanna. You don't have much, but you wanna get into it, and uh, you know, have, have, uh, you know, provide for your family a little bit better. Um, you know, buy a house or something, or, or buy a property, or you buy some cars, right? Um, with the with the tire shop business and live comfortably, not being uh, always like. Um, you know, living uh, paycheck by paycheck, and uh, you know, you want to be um, in a better financial position at the end of the day. So you're like, okay, I really like tire shop business. I either I worked in one before, or um, I've never worked one before, but I'm really to learn, and uh, I see it's a lot less stress than being a mechanic because mechanic, you know, you got to be on the car all the time, and as a tire shop guy, you can have uh, other guys uh, just. You know, it's an easy dismount amount of doing the, let's say you have a Toyota Corolla, four knee tires, you have this amount, amount for balance, for throw away the junk tires. You know, to cut the tires very easy to throw away the junk tire. Uh, if you cut them, you know, our, we're, we're here, we cut our tires. And um, so you can have people do it, right? You can have people dismount amount um, while you do other things. Um, you can always, you know, shoot to be, going hard after sales so you're gonna be hard hard mar marketing hard you're gonna be uh, uh helping out the customers and closing business so then that's what you want to do let's just say if you want to do that and have the guys mount and dismount the tires but to get there you know you have to need the money to open up a tire shop um of course you're gonna need to buy compressors how much does that cost probably about three thousand brand new each one um if you buy used, probably like what, a thousand bucks or less. Uh, the lines, you know, you, I don't want to go through all the expenses to open up a tire shop. The lease, you know. Um, but the point is, like, you need money, right? So, how are you gonna get that money to start off? And and, and not only that, I always talk about inventory. What about the inventory, right? And and how how does that play out with the tire shop? So, if you have a job or two jobs. Or if I had a job or two job, right? So what I would do is work at the job. If I work at the tire shop, work at the tire shop. And um, you want to always get even more smarter with the business because you can always learn more and learn more when it comes to like what sells more. Uh, but you're gonna have to get that through experience, you know. So it is gonna take years, man. Like. I've been doing this shit my whole, since I was a little kid, my whole life, man. Seeing what tires sell and what tires don't sell. 
and uh, brands too, by the way. And uh, but when it comes to news, more important with the brands. Like in my opinion, they, like I don't sell much Michelin, man. Like I know Michelin's like one of the most expensive and more iconic brands, but I don't really sell a lot of Michelin, you know. I saw a lot of Michelin used, like you're looking at some right here, look at their badass tires. But um, when it comes to new, dude, I never get a demand. Hey, I want some Michelins, right? Rarely. So I'm not gonna be fucking buying a whole bunch of Michelins to try to sell those things when I can get a Chinese brand that costs like 45 bucks and uh, brand new and then sell it for like 90 or whatever you sell it for and move that shit all day long, you know? But uh, anyway, so. Um, you know, if you're working at a tire shop, you don't own the tire shop, so then you're not gonna have access to um, wholesalers, used tire wholesalers, because you need a, you, you know, and, unless you, they don't care and you can buy it as a customer, right? Then maybe like that. And I, I do know some places like that, by the way, that like don't want to tell the used tire shop the, the tire shops that they sell to other people like to the public you know because they want to make money too right they, like so then uh they'll sell to the public and so like you can find those but it, a lot of places are more legit they're not going to sell to the public they're just going to sell to the tire shop they don't want to deal with the small guy they want to sell like 300 tires at a time compared to like if you want to buy like 10 or something right so you can try going after those guys, but more more importantly, what you're really gonna find is like uh, companies like uh, that sell used used cars. Let's say like a CarMax or something like those guys. They always change the tires, like a used BMW dealer, a small one, um, you know, whatever Volkswagen dealer, a small one that only the a mom and pop own that they they have a lot of you know cars and everything they put brand new and they you know. They get those tires and they freaking just throw them away, right? They pay you to throw them away, or they give it away to the to the um, to the worker there, and then the worker can sell them and make some extra money. Two things happen right there: they save on throwing away the junk tire fee, which is like four or five bucks each. Second, uh, they give the opportunity to the the worker to make some money, and the workers will find a, a tire shop and then sell those tires to a tire shop, right? So then if, if I was a small guy, I would go to these places and talk to the workers there. Hey, uh, wh what do you guys do with the used tires, you know? Um, do you want to, one of you guys keep them? If you guys want you guys keep them, I can buy them off of you, you know? What do you sell them at a tire shop for, 15 bucks? I'll pay the 15 bucks, right? So then, uh, you know, I'll come to you. You don't got, I mean, if you want me to, you know, meet somewhere or whatever, you know, whatever you want. So um, you're probably gonna have to buy a truck at this point so you're gonna have to probably work buy like a little pickup truck like a little toyota or something a little chevy or like a 1500 chevy or some Silverado or something notice uh i keep saying chevy right <laughs> nice saying um so then you got your truck and it's gonna be hard to find these but you will find them there's not they're not gonna be like oh i only want to sell to these guys oh no i'm not gonna sell to you like everybody's gonna fold that one for yeah yeah you're right here the guys over there, it will save me a trip for me going to the shop. Yeah, I'll sell them to you, no problem. And, you know, it ain't gonna be hard to find that. If you look hard enough, if you go to, and I'm talking, by the way, this is all, everything I talk about is like big cities, by the way. Like, well, there's a lot of tire shops, a lot of car sales, a lot of, you know, a lot of everything. Like, even if it was a small little, like, town and stuff like that, it's gonna be way different. Um, and, and you know, it's, it's just a whole different ball game. I always talk about, you know, you want to start a tire shop, you probably want to go to a city that has a lot of people in it. Well, I don't say you probably want to do it. I say you, you definitely want to do that because you make more money and all that. Even though you got to travel and stuff, you might have to move. I don't know. You got to do what you got to do if you want to do that, you know. I wouldn't recommend small towns, open a tire shop and, you know, have a little bit of people come to your shop. And, you know, your expenses are going to add up really quick and that cash flow is not coming in. You need a lot of people. In this business, you need a lot of people, a lot of, like, uh, buyers, you know, you need a lot of, uh, um, and again, the, 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 the distributors, when it comes to new ones, are you going to be able to like find a guy that's going to deliver your way over there when you're like a small town? It's going to be really hard. Maybe one company and that's it. So then they're going to hold you by the, you know, <laughs> by the balls. Uh, you pay this amount and, uh, 
or, or, or you're not going to get these tires too much because the, they're the only ones in town, right? But the point is this, so find these places, go buy tires, right? That's going to be your best option in my opinion. So that's what I would do. I'll buy like a Chevy truck. Uh, if I want to start all over again, I'll like go drive to these uh, CarMax dealers or small little dealers. And I see the tires out in the back and they don't do nothing with them. Or you get them for free or you can, uh, I mean, you go to big dealers too, by the way. My, my cousin works at the Lexus. You know, this is the number one uh, Toyota Lexus in the world, right here in, in Monte, California. And so he, you know, sees all the time they're changing tires, they throw them in the back, and someone just goes and picks them up. And it's like, and yeah, whoever picks them up is getting some badass tires. You know, any little thing, they, salesman, you need new tires, right? And they'll sell them and throw away the junk ones over there, but they're fucking good. Freaking good ass quality tires. They have a lot of 215, 55, 17s right there, 225, 50, 17s, a lot of 19s, like a 235, 55, 19s. All that Lexus, you know, that Toyota stuff, you'll find them at those places. But, you know, maybe there's someone already getting them and they don't let you, probably at the bigger spots, maybe that's what's going to happen. But at the smaller so spots, that ain't going to happen. It's just whoever comes through, kind of, you know? So it's going to require you work to get to get to the tire. So what you have to do is uh, either it's free or you're buying them. It doesn't matter. In my opinion, you gain the damn tire. You go, you, you have some money to invest, 300 bucks or whatever, you buy some tires, you save them at your place, same with your garage. Or if you have none of that, if you live in an apartment and you have no garage, then you, I would do is I'll rent a storage uh, and I will put them at the storage. Now in storages here in Cali, you can hold tires, but they don't want you to sell tires. So you have to do that, like kind of like hidden. You have to find a spot that they don't care maybe like a smaller spot not like a well-known one and you're gonna have to find one that uh is open like many late hours and you know like and so why do i say this because i told my nephew when he did it and i got very good results and until so he got kicked out right and so he could have kept going to another spot and then did it again uh you know which is you know hold the tires there and then sell um but um he just got tired of that and he started the amazon business so so amazon's doing business really good and by the way he's uh 19 right now or 20. really good very very uh, i wish i had someone like that you know, like uh who trained him trained me right i'm just saying that was me i'm talking about now nah, just jokes all around uh gone so let's talk about the tire shop business so you do that, you get the tires, you sell them. You get experience by selling and understanding which ones are the ones that are gonna move. So two things happen from this. One, you get a ton of experience selling the tires on your own, selling them on offer up for marketplace. And two, you, uh, your cash is going up because now you understand how to invest. You understand how it feels. You understand you just buy something, you sell it, it could be sold the next day. You know, in my opinion, if it has nails or something, uh, don't list it until you fix the tire because they could come that an hour later and then they come up and they're like, oh, shoot, they doesn't have a nail and shit. So at your pad, you're gonna have to have like a little compressor and a little buffer in the wheel and some glue and a patch, patches so you can patch tires. So, you know, you can, if you don't have that, you never know how to patch the tire before then you know, there's the opportunity to learn and get good at it. And you're gonna understand how like to patch quicker. And it's easy, by the way, it's very easy. But you know, if you don't know how to do it, then that's your opportunity to learn in a second. Um, you know, you're gonna need it for, for if you sign used tires to, um, to patch them and just, you know, when you sell them, there's no problems with it, you know? So learn how to patch tires and then have a little uh, setup at your house. And you can keep them at your uh, storage, right? And then, yeah, you collect, you know, if time goes by, so every week if you collect 10, 15, 20, 30 tires, they're just adding up. And soon you have like 100, 150, you know, you're gonna be selling them, you know, south, 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 so they'll be going down, but then you want to get more, and then, then you get better at it, and you can understand the business more, you're gonna have to find more places that have different type of tires, not the same stuff. So if this the BMW dealer has like low profiles, you're gonna have to go to like a 
Volkswagens have like regular tires, like 195, 65, 15s, 205, 55, 16s, and the Lexuses are gonna have like the 215, 55, 6, 17s, the 225, 50, 17s, and stuff like that, right? So then you start understanding the game more, and you find another place that is like, fuck, like you say, you find a freaking uh, Lamborghini dealership, right? Like, which I had to connect to one time, and I'll buy like the wider tires. Now you get the 335, 3018s, you get like, uh, you know, three, what are they? 335, what were they? 335, I think they're 335, 3020s, or I know they have like 295, 3020s, you know, they have, you know, those, those wide tires that uh, are really low. Uh, three, oh, 305, 3020s also they have. You know, you're gonna have those now in your your selections and now you're gonna have customers okay i want these i want those and every day you're gonna be signing tires if you have like you know 300 tires 400 tires in your let's say you have like two lockers now two uh storages that they don't care about like like they have tires in it again some places do some places don't right here they don't care but they do care of you like selling tires they don't want that you know they don't want to run a business running a business out of their place so you're gonna have even more money invested you have more cash flow coming in still working at your place uh let's just say and by the way uh working at a, a tire shop part-time is great so i would be doing that on the weekends tire shops are very busy so they'll gladly have anybody come in and help because they're slammed with work on the weekday we slower so they don't really have work so they probably won't want you there if you're a part-time guy if you're a full-time guy then you're gonna have even more benefits because the tire shop places have tires that they don't want. Example like these came in for free. The guy just threw them back here. I don't want these because they're cracked. Like I don't like this stuff. I mean, we can sell them and they'll be good on the road and all that. But look how they look. Like, they're ugly to me. Like I don't like it. You know? Look at that. Uh, four tires. So I'll throw them away. And uh, but if you work at a tire, you can gladly take them. And I wouldn't care. Like I'll be happy if you make some money from it, right? and uh you can get those and sell them right i'm just saying like you we put them on the description on offer up they're weather cracked but they have like you know a uh, high tread you know pretty pretty good amount of tread and um you know fuck i don't know 20 bucks with each one or something i don't know whatever you want to put it for right and so there's 80 bucks right for free so anyways i had a guy like that he would get tires and like the junk ones i don't care he'll put them on the internet and sell them and uh yeah i was happy for him and you know he liked it he just did it for the money he didn't do it because he wanted to open a tire shop so you do that with like a few years now you save up money to like for your tire shop you have enough money to like weather the storm like a few let's say like six months of weathering the storm uh in the beginning you're gonna be probably negative cash flow for like six months let's just say if you're really good it'd be less than that if you have a lot of inventory it'll be even less than that so by the way that's another beautiful thing is like if you keep saving and saving tires let's say you have room in this in this story let's say you have a, a backyard and you have a, like a lot of freaking room so then i'll put like something like this but waterproof and put all the tires on the bottom someone still some this they still that some that's it they're gonna sell all of them right because it's in your backyard right so you find like a little fool jump in the back still four tires and oh i got i got away with it <laughs> Uh, good job man you know but anyways uh if you have that room now you can put just you know stack stack tires and make some maybe put, put some racks and just like save them right and uh yeah so you open up your tire shop mainstream until you uh finally have enough to get that like that that freaking uh deposit money plus the first month's rent money and uh you now you have experience in what sells and i have um, you know, little by little, which money you've been saving, buy some tools, buy a machine, on the, put on, save it on the side. You know, you're gonna need all that stuff too. So like, if you've been, you know, selling tires, you have money coming in. So now you have uh, a lot of experience. Now you have like tools. Now you have like the machines, the compressors, all save, save, save. Cause you know, that's what you're gonna do. So that money is not going to waste, man. That, that, that's all money invested. Even though you're not going to have the money coming in and out like you are with the tires, 
but you're ready, you're preparing yourself for that tire shop. Now you have, you know, all this stuff, and uh, finally you get the shop, sign the lease, you know, shop is yours. Now you can go get the permits from the city. Would you want to do a tire shop? Of course you want to check first if you want to, they'll let you allow you to have a tire shop. Most of the time they do, but there's some cities that don't because there's already a lot of tire shops in the city, so they won't. But go check first and okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, you can put one, put one. Apply for permits and all that, and then you know that need money for the run the lines, right? The airlines, the electricity, like like oh, for the compressors in the back, and you know all that shit that you gotta do, right? I don't go through that, but the point is like you bring in all your equipment, you know, have someone you pay someone to set it up, connect it all, and yeah, I mean you're freaking you have your machine already. It has your air, it has air in it already. So then now you can use it. Man, that's a fucking beautiful feeling, man. Having your own freaking machine, you know, to this amount of tires. Uh, it's ready for business, you know? And then you have, so you, you already have the tools. You just saved up that money for like that location. And you can be there by yourself. I mean, it's cool. I mean, no problem. You know, at first you're in the business, it's like, hey, I'm by myself, guys. So if you take a little, it's gonna take a little time. If you have like a car or three cars or, or something, um, like in the first six months, did you say? When you have like a little bit of money or a little bit of customers and you just like, um, tell them, hey, it's gonna be a little bit slower service because it's just me right now, but uh, but I'll get to you, man. I'll give me give me 25 minutes, I'll get to you. I'll do a patch or whatever it is they need, right? Yeah, and then from there, you, you're good. I mean, customers are gonna be referring to the other customers. They're gonna be, you're gonna be at a, at a, a location that has very a lot of exposure, a lot of cars passing by or uh, a good amount of cars passing by and they're gonna be seeing you and they're gonna know that you're there maybe you want to put some tires in the front uh, maybe you want to color the tires in the front put some banners up there if possible uh, maybe a rack with tires like one of these like let's say you get one of these racks you put tires on the bottom so now you can roll it in and out uh, wherever you want to put it and, and you know just to have more attention because tires grab a lot of attention so the drivers see it then they'll oh it's a tire shop right there and then Oh shit, I got a nail, I gotta go patch it. And then they go in, and then yeah, oh yeah, you patch it, by the way, you need another tire right there, you want, you know, you wanna, you want I, I got 45 bucks or whatever it is, you know? Or um, in the future, whenever you need tires, you know, I have them for this much, you know, that just says like 350 bucks, right? For 350 bucks, brand new Mount Balance throwaway junk tires. Uh, oh yeah, they remember that shit, and it's easy to get to you because you're like right there. Oh yeah, in two months they'll come back. Oh yeah, hey, you still got that deal? Uh, I want those new tires, right? So anyways, the point is that uh, to begin with, it's uh, it's, it's gonna be the hardest shit preparing, man. It's like buying, find your connection. Later on when you get a tire shop, the, the connections are gonna come to you. You go, you pop up on Google and all the tire wholesalers they're gonna be looking for your ass. Please buy tires for me, you know? Um, but the point is like, in the beginning you're gonna be hustling Looking for these tires, saving up that bread, uh, saving up those, uh, um, that, uh, what's it called? The, the machines, the compressors, the guns, supplies. You know, you're gonna be able to, you can buy some supplies online, by the way. You can, right now, you can go up on eBay and buy some patches and stuff like that, glue and shit like that. That's not gonna be a problem in the beginning or any time to be finding supplies. Um, more of what do you need is what's going to be more of a problem if uh, you don't have experience in a tire shop. But if you do, you work somewhere, you know what exactly what you need to buy. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I would do, man. And, and you know, I might not be ready this year, but I'll be ready next year, right? Like, but I will be ready for sure. And it's going to happen for sure because this is what I want to do. So that's, uh, that's my take on that. Hope it helps some of you. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, Mamba out.